Chapter 42 of the Book of Enoch Wisdom found no place where she might dwell. Then a dwelling place was assigned her in the heavens. Wisdom went forth to make her dwelling among the children of men, and found no dwelling place. Wisdom returned to her place and took her seat among the angels, and the unrighteousness went forth from her chambers. Whom she sought, not she found, and dwelt with them as rain in a desert, and dew on a thirsty land. And I saw other lightnings, and the stars of heaven, and I saw how he called them all by their names, and they hearkened unto him. I saw how they are weighed in a righteous balance according to their proportions of light, the width of their spaces and the day of their appearing, and how their revolution produces lightning. And I saw their revolution according to the number of the angels, and how they keep faith with each other. And I asked the angel who went with me, who showed me what was hidden, What are these? And he said to me, The Lord of spirits hath showed thee their parabolic meaning. These are the names of the holy who dwell on the earth and believe in the name of the Lord of spirits forever and ever. Also another phenomenon I saw in regard to the lightnings, how some of the stars arise and become lightnings and cannot part with their new form. And this is the second parable concerning those who deny the name of the dwelling of the holy ones and the Lord of spirits. And into the heaven they shall not ascend, and on the earth they shall not come. Such shall be the lot of the sinners who have denied the name of the Lord of spirits, who are thus preserved for the day of suffering and tribulation. On that day mine elect one shall sit on the throne of glory and shall try their works and their places of rest shall be innumerable and their souls shall grow strong within them and when they see mine elect ones and those who have called upon my gracious name then will I cause my elect one to dwell among them and I will transform the heaven and make it in eternal blessing and light and I will transform the earth and make it a blessing and I will cause mine elect ones to dwell upon it but the sinners and evildoers shall not set foot therein. For I have provided and satisfied with peace my righteous ones, and I have caused them to dwell before me. But for the sinners there is judgment impending with me, so that I shall destroy them from the face of the earth. And there I saw one who had a head of days, and his head was white like wool. And with him was another being whose countenance had the appearance of a man, and his face was full of graciousness, like one of the holy angels. And I asked the angel who went with me and showed me all the hidden things concerning that son of man, who he was, and whence he was, and why he went with the head of days. And he answered and said unto me, This is the son of man who hath righteousness, with whom dwelleth righteousness, and who revealeth all the treasures of that which is hidden, because the Lord of spirits has chosen him, and whose lot hath the preeminence before the Lord of spirits in, unbright in uprightness forever. And this Son of Man whom thou hast seen shall raise up the kings and the mighty ones from their seats, and the strong from their thrones, and shall loosen the reins of the strong, and break the teeth of the sinners. And he shall put down the kings from their thrones and kingdoms, because they do not extol and praise him, nor humbly acknowledge whence the kingdom was bestowed upon them. And he shall put down the countenance of the strong, and shall fill them with shame. And darkness shall be their dwelling, and worms shall be their bed, and they shall have no hope of rising from their beds, because they do not extol the name of the Lord of Spirits. And these are they who judge the stars of heaven, and raise their hands against the Most High, and tread upon the earth and dwell upon it, and all their deeds manifest unrighteousness, and their power rests upon their riches, and their faith is in the gods which they have made with their hands, and they deny the name of the Lord of Spirits. And they persecute the houses of his congregations, and the faithful who hang upon the name of the Lord of Spirits, and in those days shall have ascended the prayer of the righteous, and the blood of the righteous from the earth before the Lord of Spirits. In those days the holy ones who dwell above in the heavens shall, shall unite with one voice 
and supplicate and pray and praise and give thanks and bless the name of the Lord of Spirits on behalf of the blood of the righteous which has been shed. And that the prayer of the righteous may not be in vain before the Lord of Spirits, that judgment may be done unto them, and that they may not suffer forever. In those days I saw the head of days, when he seated himself upon the throne of his glory, and the books of the living were opened before him. And all his host which is in heaven above, and his counselors, stood before him, and the hearts of the holy were filled with joy, because the number of the righteous had been offered, and the prayer of the righteous had been heard, and the blood of the righteous been required before the Lord of Spirits. And in that place I saw the fountain of righteousness, which was inexhaustible, and around it were many fountains of wisdom, and all the thirsty drank of them, and were filled with the wisdom, and their dwellings were with the righteous and holy and elect. And at that hour that Son of Man was named in the presence of the Lord of Spirits, and his name before the head of days. Yea, before the sun and the signs were created, before the stars of the heaven were made, his name was named before the Lord of Spirits. He shall be a staff to the righteous, wherein to stay themselves and not fall. He shall be the light of the Gentiles, and the hope of those who are troubled of heart. All who dwell on the earth shall fall down and worship before him, and will praise and bless and celebrate with the song, the Lord of Spirits. And for this reason hath he been chosen and hidden before him, before the creation of the world and forevermore. And the wisdom of the Lord of Spirits hath revealed him to the holy and righteous, for he hath preserved the lot of the righteous, because they have hated and despised this world of unrighteousness, and have hated all its works and the ways in the name of the Lord of Spirits. For in his name they are saved, and according to his good pleasure hath it been in regard to their life. In these days, downcast in countenance, shall the kings of the earth have become, and the strong who possess the land because of the works of their hands. For on the day of their anguish and affliction, they shall not be able to save themselves. And I will give them over into the hands of mine elect, as straw in the fire, so shall they burn before the face of the holy. As lead in the water shall they sink before the face of the righteous, and no trace of them shall any more be found. And on the day of their affliction there shall be rest on the earth, and before them they shall fall and not rise again. And there shall be no one to take them with his hands and raise them, for they have denied the Lord of Spirits and his anointed. The name of the Lord of Spirits be blessed. For wisdom is poured out like water, and glory faileth not before him forevermore. For he is mighty in all the secrets of righteousness, and unrighteousness shall disappear as a shadow, and have no countenance. Because the elect one standeth before the Lord of Spirits, and his glory is forever and ever, and his might unto all generations. And in him dwells the spirit of wisdom, the spirit which gives insight, and the spirit of understanding and of might and the spirit of those who have fallen asleep in righteousness. And he shall judge the secret things, and none shall be able to utter a lying word before him. For he is the elect one before the Lord of Spirits, according to his good pleasure. And in those days a change shall take place for the holy and elect, and the light of days shall abide upon them, and glory and honor shall turn to the holy on the day of affliction, on which evil shall have been treasured up against the sinners. And the righteous shall be victorious in the name of the Lord of Spirits, and he will cause the others to witness this, that they may repent and forego the works of their hands. They shall have no honor through the name of the Lord of Spirits, yet through his name shall they be saved. And the Lord of Spirits will have compassion on them, for his compassion is great. And he is righteous also in his judgment. And in the presence of his glory, unrighteousness also shall not maintain itself. At his judgment.